Praise the Lord. This is Reverend Professor Anun coming your way with the Word of God this Sunday. We are still continuing our series on relationships. Today we want to look at the importance of an inner circle in relationships. The importance of an inner circle. In all human organizations, there are always inner circles. They may be executives or top level advisors or just a few close counselors. There is a need to have a core group with closely knit relationship so as to be able to operate effectively as a human being. It does not matter how strong you are and how independent you want to be, you will by all means need an inner circle of friends, companions, colleagues to ensure sanity and progress in your life. So you cannot travel this life journey without an inner circle. The example we want to look at is the example of Jesus. Jesus has an inner circle. And there was a criteria that Jesus, our Lord, used to actually select people to be in his inner circle. And that is what we're going to look at. What is the criteria? What criteria did Jesus use to really select those who would be his inner circle? In the first place, the first thing criteria that Jesus used to select his inner circle was transparency. People he can be transparent with was what Jesus looked at as the first criteria for selecting an inner circle. Matthew 26 verse 36 to 38 says, Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, John and James, along with him. And he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. You know, he was with 12 people, but he could not be so transparent with all of them. He needed an inner circle. That is John, James, and Peter. These are the people he can be transparent with. So he selected those people. And when he went away from the other nine, he said to them in a very transparent manner, truly, my inner circle, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. You need people you can be so transparent with. When you are dying, when you are sad, when you are depressed, whatever is happening to you, you need an inner circle who you can be transparent with. If you are not transparent with anybody, your, your, your problems and your challenges will eat you up. Even Jesus needs an inner circle that he has to be transparent with. So the first criteria is transparency. And so Jesus is able to be transparent with three people. And this way, Peter... James and John. The second thing that Jesus looked at as a criteria for selecting an inner circle to form a very close relationship with was tolerance. Jesus was looking at people who can tolerate him. Matthew 17, 1 to 2 say, after six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, and the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. So here, Jesus was looking at people who can tolerate him. They went a high mountain. It means that it says they and they went up a high mountain. People who can climb your high mountains with you. These are the people you are looking for. When you say, Come, let's climb mountains. Somebody can tell you I cannot climb. You are too much for me. We are climbing hills. We are climbing mountains. We are going to rain and going to sunshine. I'm tired. Jesus selected people who can tolerate me. So you have to look for people who will tolerate you. Not people who, when things are good, they are with you. When things are not good, they are not with you. Want people who can tolerate you only when you have to climb mountains. Climb to higher challenges. You need people. So look for people in a relationship who can tolerate you. So you relate to them as your inner circle. Then, the second, third thing is trustworthy people. People you can trust. Jesus looked for people he can trust. To be his inner circle and form a relationship with them. Matthew 17, 9 says, 
as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus instructed them, don't tell anyone what you have seen until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Keep confidentiality with me. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell any, any down. Now they've climbed the mountain. They were coming down. He told them, look, don't tell anybody what has happened. So you need people who, when you are transparent with, with them, and, and, and to, to them, and you are tolerant with them, they can keep your confidentiality. They can keep, it's not people that whatever you say, they will go around gossiping and telling others. Look for people who can keep confidentiality. Whatever you don't want to go out, it won't go out. They can see your nakedness and cover it. They are not people who, even when your nakedness is not there, they are going to take off your clothes all over the place. There are people like that. You know, people don't want to do relationships in a circle because they feel their confidentiality will be will be will be will be will be, will be compromised. But Jesus was able to find people. He was able to find in James, John, and Peter people he can trust. There are a lot of trustworthy people there. When you pray, the Holy Spirit will lead you to some of these. The tithe, uh, fourth and last one is that people. Jesus looked for people who are tightly knit to him. You need to people who will be by you. They are there. They will stay close to you. They are always with you. They want to be with you. It's not people who don't want to be with you. Look for people who, who will be tightly related and attached to you. John 13, 23 says, One of his disciples, the one Jesus loved, was reclining close beside Jesus. He was always reclining beside Jesus. This was the time when Jesus uh, was about to be betrayed. He was with them eating and he was really, know, he knows that he was going to die. When you are in deep trouble, you need people who are always close by and they are closely knit with you. Look for such people. Look for people who will keep contact with you. They will stay close. They will always be in touch with you. They will always by, be by your side through thick and thin. Those are the people you have to look for. And they are there. God has some people for you that is for your inner circle. You need people in small groups. You need people in ones and twos that you can do things with, who can relate to you and they, they are ready to, to, to go along with you. Surely, as we are seeing, the three that was in Jesus' inner circle were not the purest or the most perfect of men or women. They were sinners too. But they were seen as the most worthy to become pillars of his church. They are genuine people. They are truthful people. They are trustworthy people. They are loyal. They are close by. You need people like that. You cannot go it alone. Relationships are important. But especially inner circle relationship. Of the three, only John persevered to stay with Jesus until he died on the cross in Golgotha. Well, no wonder he was that, the one that was tightly knit to Jesus. He was tightly knit to Jesus till his death. Look for such people to be in your inner circle. But Jesus, his inner circle, he kept faith with them and they also kept faith with him all through. And they remained loyal to his vision and mission even after his death and resurrection. May you find people who will be closely knit to you who will close, be very tied to you. They will be trustworthy people, people you can trust. They are people who you can rely on through thick and thin. They can climb the mountains with you. They can go through the valleys with you. They are people who you can rely on at all times. May God himself reveal such people to you so that they will help you on your life journey because you need an inner circle relationship. May God bless you with an inner circle relationship of trustworthy people, of people who close tight to you, and people who will be trans you can be transparent with and they can be transparent with you, and people who can tolerate you. They are, they, are, they are able to tolerate you, they have patience for you, and they can see you through the thick and thin of your life. May God surround you with such an inner circle as he did with Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much for listening to me. This has been Reverend Professor Anun coming your way with the word of God. Uh, you can always meet me on my Instagram, on my Facebook, and also uh, on, 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 on my YouTube at 7.30 a.m. every Sunday. God richly bless you and bless you with close friends who will see you through this challenging world that we are in. Shalom.